Hey, welcome back, everyone. Eric here, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. You've already subscribed. You've already turned on notifications. So let's move right along. Talking about the next band in my mini series, the 30 meter band. Now, this is the third of the three WARC bands, W A R C. The 12 meter, 17 meter, and 30 meter are the three WARC bands, and that's for the World Administrative Radio Conference that has designated three contest free bands for amateur use. Now, 30 being a band that some people haven't used or just thought maybe that's not for them. Or some people live on 30 when they're talking digital and CW. Now, in this video, I'll give you a brief synopsis on the 30 meter band, which is 10 megahertz. However, at the end of this video, there'll be a window on the screen, an end screen, that you can click on to go to my original 30 meter video that I did back in August, which is packed full of information showing you how the band was then and some other digital stations that I had on the screen. Now, 30 meters is one of my favorite bands for digital modes because it's quieter, it, it does work year-round, and I just think that with less people utilizing it compared to something like 20 or 40, it gives me a better chance at less congestion to practice my CW or to work PSK or RIDI. So let's check out the 30 meter band, and at the end of the video, make sure you click on the square to go back, and if you're interested, check out the original 30 meter video I did before. So let's get into it. Let's talk about 30 meters here on the chart for a moment. Now 30 meters spans from 10.1 to 10.15 megahertz. General, advanced, and extra class all enjoying the same privileges on the band, but this band stands out different than other ones that we've seen on this graph. Now, looking at the bar here, you'll notice it's just a solid red bar. And what did we say on the previous videos was in the red section? That's right, CW and digital modes. So there is no, no phone or voice permitted on the 30 meter band as a US amateur radio operator. We are secondary on the 10 megahertz band. So you may in your travels hear a voice in the lower or upper portion of 10 megahertz, but do not contact or try to make contact on voice. There may be other stations in other countries in Bolivia or South Africa that are using 10 uh, megahertz as a fixed station. Therefore, we come secondary and that's where this 200 watts PEP power rating limit comes from. 200 watts peak envelope power. So we are not to cause interference to any other stations on 10 megahertz, even if they're using phone. Now, in an emergency situation, maybe the rules are different if somebody is calling Mayday or for help. Now, with the 200 watt limit, I can say this. It levels the playing field a little more for CW and digital modes because the average transceiver is 100 watts, right? So picture on, 10, on 20 meters here, you can have somebody running 5 watts QRP and somebody running 1500 watts full legal limit. And when you're trying to compete with someone using 1500 watts, it's almost it is impossible if you're using 5 or 10 watts. Now, with the average radio being 100 watts, it wouldn't be a justified cause to fire up an amplifier and heat up a whole nother piece of equipment to get an extra 100 watts because you're only getting 3 dB or half an S unit gain. So What's the purpose of burning more electronics and heating up another amplifier to get 200 watts? In fact, if you're using PSK31 or JT65, you're not running 100 watts anyways. You're using PSK2530-35 watts, maybe less on FT8 or JT65. CW might be different. But 30 meter band, you may say, why, do I, why would I want to go to a band that's only digital and CW? Well, I know several people one of them is a silent key that only used PSK, period. The man had many years on ham radio and did a lot of things, but he chose he only used PSK. Now, in this video, I may say a couple times that it's less active. Well, what I mean by that is not only is it a work band and there's no contesting, but when someone says, hey, you want to get on CW? The first thing they might say is, well, do you want to go on 20, meter, 20 meters or 40 meters? Nobody ever recommends 30. In fact, some people I've said, hey, you want to try 30? Well, I've never tuned up on 30, or 
I don't know where to operate on 30. You know, it's okay to not know and to experiment. And hopefully this video brings a little insight. 30 meters to me is a hidden gem. And you can see in the video, uh, at the end of this video, I'll put the tile up there and you can watch that video I made in August and you can see what happens on 30 meters uh, on this band. It really is active at some times. And it's a lot quieter. Back to bandplans.com again. And looking at the band plan and the suggested frequencies on different things going on, you can see there's quite a bit of things happening on 30 meters with the suggested frequencies. I know for a fact that PSK likes to sit on a certain spot in the dial, and so does JT65. In fact, 10.138, if you tune there on 30, it will be littered with some JT65, as well as FT8 just below that or right around there. There's a bunch of FT8 stations on 30 meters. And PropNet, here's another one we'll talk about in the future about uh, propagation network over different HF bands. Here's another one that's interesting. We'll go down here to, uh, where is it? Here it is. ALE data. So, Global ALE High Frequency Network provides HF instant messaging connectivity, HF to SMS cell phone, mobile texting, HF to HF relay. Pretty cool. You know, I'm not uh, familiar on how well established HF link is, but I've heard about it. Now, check this out. Are you familiar with APRS? Did you know they did APRS on 30 meters? That's right. 300 baud FSK on APRS on 30 meters. Think about it. What if you didn't have a, digi a digipeter close by? You can use APRS over HF on 30 meters. Now that we're going lower in frequency, well, well, if your antenna doesn't do 30 meters and you wanted to throw up a simple dipole, which is all you would need on 30 meters, how long would it be? We're going lower in frequency, so the antennas are getting longer. 10.130 uh, would be about the center of the area there. And you can see 46 feet, 2 inches roughly for a half-wave dipole, almost 50 feet. Now, can you handle a 50-feet dipole in your property? Something to consider, something to think about. Uh, you know, 30 meters, uh, my antenna, my AV680 does 30 meters, but I've had antennas that weren't native to 30 meters. So even a couple wire antenna designs I made, I had to use a tuner and it was a 10 to 1 SWR before I tuned up. So really wasn't efficient to begin with. And, uh, you know, so the antennas are getting longer. So... Call it almost 50 feet by the time you cut it long and trim off the ends until you get it tuned just where you want it in the band. So what could you expect from the 10 MHz band as a newly licensed amateur radio operator? Well, being that it's only digital and CW, you can put the egos away because nobody's talking on phone there. Um, so I can't tell you how the operators are or what kind of people you'll find there. Other than the fact that if you're looking for CW or digital modes in a place where not a lot of people are using the band and there's no contesting, 30 meters is your hidden gem. Now, I again, I've had more, I've had stronger signals on 30 with digital than I have on any other band, and I'm not sure if that's my antenna or what. That high gain AV680 vertical really pulls it in. Sometimes I'm getting S20, S30 on my meter crammed full of signals when other signals on 20 and 40 are okay but not as good. So I think it's a lot less congestion, it's quieter, and you can use it year-round. Um, 30 meters is generally better at night than it is during the day. So now that we're moving lower in frequency from 20 meters, it starts to go the opposite way. 30 meters can be used during the day. Yes, it has been done. I have done it before. But in the nighttime is when it really opens up. And in the wintertime, even better when the noise is down. So a 30-meter band just for us, for CW and digital. And if you're not looking for the real fast guys on CW that are 25, 30 words a minute, you might find more practicing their, thir their CW on 30 meters, getting more comfortable at a slower speed than someone on 40 or 20 that's really cranking out on that paddle. So thanks for watching on the 30 meter video. Here's the button right here on the screen that shows you the uh, previous 30 meter video. Thanks for watching. See you again, 7-3 from KJ4YZI.